IBB Builders Merchants proudly supports volleyball. System here, tension in the game as he does from the inside. Neil Sink, that's a good swing. International, the experience. Block is watching through the net. Hey guys, I'm Key Michael. I am filming inside the volley bubble, and today I'm taking you behind the scenes at training camp organized in the most difficult of times, but aimed at getting the team their biggest win in history. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Volleyball is a sport that can inspire and excite both players and fans. It's one of the most popular team sports in the world and its Nations League matches in the summer attract a cumulative global audience of more than 1.5 billion. I've been training since I was 15 and one of my biggest achievements was competing in the 2012 Olympics for Team GB. Later in my career as a middle blocker, I played throughout Europe in Italy, Turkey, Germany and France on some high level teams and earned a silver medal in the CEV Champions League. What's up guys? My name is Kira Michael. I'm a professional volleyball player in Europe. I has been, have, has been, I have been for the past 10 years playing throughout Europe and this is my YouTube channel. Since then, I started my YouTube channel, including a series called The Volley Bubble, a sneak peek into what it's really like to be a professional volleyball player. But today's show is not about me. Viewers, meet IBB Polonia. Hey! <laughs> IBB Polonia London Volleyball Club was founded in London almost 50 years ago by two Polish scouts. Since then, it has been steadily growing and is currently the most accomplished team in British men's volleyball. The team has won seven English championships, three English cups, and the 2019 European Nevza Cup. Currently, the club still holds the title of Champion of England. During its history, it has had many exciting matchups against some of the world's greatest teams, including the 2021 Volleyball Champions League winner, Grupa Azoto Zaksa Kedzhen Kozle. Kedzhen Kozle. Kedzhen Kozle. Kedzhen Kozle. Close. The team's a really good group of guys, so it's really good fun to be around. Um, everyone's from different countries, different places, but we've all bonded and come together really well. The current squad will soon face the biggest challenge in the club's history, the CEV European Volleyball Cup. Because of COVID-19 restrictions in the UK and being unable to train, the team organized a training camp hidden in the tiny village of Sluka, near Belhatov in Poland. Ever heard of it? First impressions of Slupia. Slupia. I believe it's an amazing place to be. Uh, <laughs> If I stay two more days, I think I'm gonna make skydive. <laughs> um, seeing the snow first time this year is uh, yeah, it's not not common anywhere. In England, you like England, Australia? Yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's always very new for me. Aussie boy. <laughs> I finished a seven hour nap today. That's probably one of my biggest achievements in life. Just seven hour seven nap? Seven hour nap. See, so most people call that sleep, but no, not for me, that's a nap. <laughs> uh, sleep for me go on for like at least two days. Every now and then, naps are necessary as the club doesn't go easy on its players during camp, especially since organizing this trip was a big challenge for the management. It's extremely important for us to be able to come to Poland uh, to train. Uh, currently in England, volleyball is uh, unable to be training, unable to be, tra to be playing, so this is the only option for us. When we had uh, availability alliances to practice in England, it was only a group of six, and then even for the players, some of the guys working, some of the guys they study, some they are professionals, so to put them all together, 
I think it was the ideal place. We were thinking for a long time, how can we overcome the problems of the, of the British lockdown? Even though Volleyball England and us, we tried to get an exemption to train, we weren't able to get it. So for us, it was the only option, either to move abroad and train, to do the crazy thing, or just uh, stop the season completely. But we never stop until we succeed. Show us your room. And you sure, come in. <laughs> This is Phil's side and Aiden's side. You're an absolute disgrace. <laughs> the team's been here for almost three weeks. Uh, so we thought this is like the optimal time. So we won't kill them uh, because they don't become too bored of each other. Because don't forget, all they do here is they stay in the hotel rooms and go to training. We are in this biosecure bubble because of the COVID situation. We are in the middle of forest. We wanted this to be secure, so we are away of any uh, civilization here. It's been quite cool to kind of, I guess, step back into that environment where volleyball is the sole focus. You basically are, you're here. You, there's nothing else to do other than eat, sleep and train. So it's, it's nice to be back in that environment where the main focus, especially going forward throughout next week, is just the performance. Hope you guys enjoyed meeting a couple of the guys. And now, as per usual, it's time to play some volleyball. So we're gonna go with the guys to their training. Let's go. Hi. <laughs> you have to wave to the crowd as you come down, like, she's so beautiful. Miss Swift. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> We have some very good players and really I'm really happy. And we have Marcus Nisson, but we don't need to say many things about him. But also we have uh, Heis Vasokelma, is the main setter of national team of Holland. And then some very good players like Anestes Dalakouras, that is a member of national uh, Greek team. Or uh, Mike Scanello the same. There's many good guys. And the most important is that there is many nationalities. For example, we have uh, two Greeks, two Brazilians, Italian, French, Sweden, Australian. It's uh, so many, Some, and of course, British, and two Polish. Our coach is Greek, so it's a nice mixture. And that's one of the challenges for the coach as well, to you know build from this uh, big combination of, of nations, you know, a solid, a solid team. But uh, I take it as something to be proud of because London is a multicultural city and we are a, a London-based club. The more important thing and more strong thing in IBB Polonia for me is the oldest team from Polonia in UK. <laughs> no, this is really amazing, uh, uh, really incredible. And, uh, and all the directors and the sponsors from the IBB Polonia lovely, crazy for volleyball, want to do in UK the volleyball grow. This is more important. I know everyone. I stay there with you guys and I know how much is important your passion. Your passion is amazing. We are at uh, Halle Energia, uh, the whole place of uh, PG Skrat Berhatov. It is one proper volleyball house. PG Skrat Berhatov, the top world-class uh, volleyball club in, in the world, Poland. Current volleyball world champion, twice in a row, very strong league. So all the back office, all the facilities in Poland are world-class. So we are here because that's the home of volleyball. Some people call the Poland Volleyland because, you know, the people love volleyball here, media loves volleyball here. Volleyball is a, um, uh, is a I would say, uh, a language that you can, you can understand each other very good. So we, we, we found a connection very fast. 
So let's get to know the language of volleyball, which will help you better understand what exactly is happening on the court during the match. There are six players on the court from each team who occupy five different positions. I'm liberal, yeah. but I'm flexible. I can play and I can help the team in another position as well. I'm an outside, uh, so basically involved with reception and then just trying to do a little bit of everything. I am a middle blocker, so our job is to defend the front court. We are mainly to jump and spike quick balls, and when we're blocking, our job is to always at least form a double block on the outside or at least commit with our other middle, our opponents. And also we are to create a distraction when we are running for an attack so the other blockers don't know where the ball is going to. The other two positions are the setter, who is usually responsible for the second touch of the ball and for placing it perfectly in the right position in the air for the attackers. And the opposite hitter, also known as the right side attacker, is the player whose duty is to finish the action after a setter lines up the ball on, you guessed it, the right side of the court. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I like that. Game ball. Game ball. No. Guys, two rounds, attacking. Max block. Where's Max? This side, this side, blocking. Two ball seats, not in a row. And then why play with the middles? Okay. Let's go. You don't do nothing. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go here. In simple terms, volleyball is basically just about bouncing the ball over the net to try to touch the opponent's half of the pitch, or court as we call it. Each team can make three contacts, the pass, the set, and the attack, before the ball has to cross the plane of the net. Points are scored in various ways, but usually when the ball touches the floor on the opponent's court. The game continues until one of the teams wins three sets. Each set is 25 points, but must be won by a two-point advantage. If both teams win two sets each, then a tie-break fifth set is played, and 15 points are enough to win. The practices have been really intense, um, we've got lots of good gameplay out of it, and then we're looking forward to, to getting into the actual competition and getting to, to play games again, because that's what that's why we really do it. How are you? Good. Good, good to see yeah. you. Yeah, yeah you, too. you too. Excited, finally? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be fun. Finally, after so many weeks, for you, it's, oh, I can't he, he imagine. Was, yeah, he was playing. I, I, was, I know, I know. I was in yeah. Sweden. I was following, yeah. 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 I was following. Yeah. Yeah. But still, it's... it's but like for the club and for the team, yeah. you were waiting. Yeah. Oh, and this is, this is the problem. And I see in England, I, I, I watch the football in England, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and they put yeah. 4,000 people on the stadium and it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Be like, they start slowly, yeah, they start slowly, yeah. I think it's very, very important to, to show volleyball in, in any possible uh, channels and, and any possible ways because it is the best commercial. Sometimes people who are coming to a volleyball game, they are first time at the volleyball game and they are thinking like, wow, it's so dynamic. It's, the situation is changing so fast. One ball can decide, one ball can, can be a game changer. And then they are falling in love with volleyball. So it's, it's very important to, to show it. And I think in the next upcoming years, it can be really, really uh, a big boom for volleyball. Hopefully we will now cross the fingers for, for, uh, for the European adventure of the IBB Polonia London. If we lose on Thursday or Tuesday, we finish. There's no league. Like, so, no thing like this. Yeah. It's, it's, don't you need to like... No, no, of course. I'm thinking, of course, until the end. Yeah, of course. I say, but if it happens, of course we will do it. Uh, this side. I'm happy that I am at this club because 
uh, it's, we try to do something really nice in, in England. And of course, many thanks belong to our sponsors. The first and the, the main one, the biggest, is IBB Bologna, IBB uh, Builders, that the last five, six years is always next to us. And I think uh, we have the same vision and we try together to make our uh, dreams to be true. When I very first started playing, it was the first season that IBB was sponsoring the team. Um, and it's been really exciting to see kind of how through all of the different years that the club's getting bigger, they're sort of doing doing better. We're, we're getting sort of a stronger squad each year. We're kind of entering all of these really exciting tournaments. Um, so it's a really fun and a kind of exciting project to be a part of in general and sort of leading, I guess, leading the way of English volleyball. English volleyball is growing sport, it's, it's, but it is an amateur sport from the perspective that there is not much money. Majority of players, even in my team, would have day jobs. Sort of half the team are professional um, and then the others either combine it with some sort of studying and working. I do, I do mobile app development, so I'm lucky enough to be able to do most of my work, um, yeah, most of my work online. So as long as I can jump on the internet and, and be able to connect with my colleagues, um, yeah, it's something that I don't have to be in the office for. It's got its challenges. It can be difficult at times, but it's sort of being able to still play volleyball at this level is it's an amazing opportunity whilst also being able to kind of develop our career back home. So it works out really well, sort of still being able to almost do both of kind of getting that career for after we finish playing going, but also making sure that we're able to play at as high a level as we still can whilst we're able to. It's been a really good opportunity for the whole team to come together and kind of act in that professional way and have the same opportunities and experiences that a professional team often have and would have. For us to be able to travel to Poland and for a month or just under, uh, be able to train as like a full-time team, of course that costs a lot of money. So we've got sponsors around us, we've got investors around us who step by step support us on our journey. Without money, there is no professional sport and everyone knows that. And in English volleyball, we have a bit of a vicious circle. There is no media interest because there is no good sport level. There is no good sport level because there is no money. There is no money because there is no sponsors and there is no sponsors because there is no media interest. So if you want to break it, you have to break that vicious circle. So that's exactly what we did. We found passionate people with with money, with business acumen. And that's what we're building because we believe it's possible to have a successful volleyball team in England, but not to play volleyball, but to organize high level volleyball events in London. And if Polonia score an ace, we're gonna celebrate like this. Ace, 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 ace. A volleyball match is so dynamic and can easily captivate the audience, which is why these events are exciting for both older and younger fans. Only a few seconds are enough to score, while a longer action back and forth, or a rally, as it's known in volleyball, could also go on for a few minutes. The tide can also turn pretty fast. One team's advantage could disappear if they don't play strong defense. So that's why each ball exchanged between teams can be extremely emotional. Meanwhile, fans are safe in the tribunes, able to enjoy a fun-filled and exciting family atmosphere. Because everyone, I think, that sees volleyball enjoys it. They just don't really always know how to get into it and how to start it and that it is kind of a, a proper sport and it's not just kind of like a holiday game kind of thing. So you thought you were going to the copper box just to enjoy the game, to sit down and have a cozy night? Uh-uh. You're going to be part of the game. You're going to work the game. You're going to rock and roll. <laughs> IBB Polonia organizes special events for its supporters and potential new sponsors. This helps build off-the-field ties that can later turn into larger business projects. Bravo! Thank you. Yeah, all right, guys, have a great evening. Spend some time with uh, each other, talk to each other, spend some time with Shiva. You know, this is a business operation what we have here, and those investors believe that along the way, at some point, we will be able to have successful events. And so far, we are exceeding any expectations. We are in year three of their investment, and we are above uh, the, you know, the, 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 the goal we set ourselves for the budget. A challenge is to constantly scout for new talent that has the potential to turn into committed players. Again, you're losing. I think one of the biggest difficulties is that it's just not a popular sport in schools. 
so we don't have that constant churn of people coming through any kind of youth systems. It's always located in, there's a couple of little hotspots around the country that have a passionate teacher or coach mm. who's able to kind of drive that junior scene. But until it becomes, I think, more of a widespread sort of full country program where it's included in sort of curriculums and things like that, it's always going to be tough as a minority sport to really build to become super mainstream. We need to promote, we need to take the idols to do the volleyball all-star games there. To see, to do everyone, the people see the history of the other countries have the history inside them. Like us in Brazil, you know, we have uh, one gold medal, two silver medal in the Olympic Games, three medals in World Championship. Uh, when you go there, when you do the camp inside the school with the kids, this is important for them because they, they feel in how the volleyball is and how the volleyball is one sport for the family. IBB Polonia and the Future Stars Foundation started a school called the Pro Volley Academy, which looks for new talent among British teenagers that want to combine their education with intensive sports training. Two players on the net, the girls that se the or boys that serving is back up. The two people that are front court can one come back to the defending one. The system that you can play is, let's say the ball goes here, one goes here, defend and defend. The Future Stars Academy is a programme that's set up for 16 to 19 year olds. Uh, the programme is set up for those school leavers that want to continue on their sporting journeys, that want to continue on their athletic performance, but they don't want to compromise on their academics as well. So the programme is completely integrated, a uh, full-time programme which students complete their level three qualifications with us and it's completely integrated with their athletic development. And what it allows them to do is have the time that's dedicated towards their sporting performance and their academics so they're not having to compromise on either. Provol is, uh, I think, the dream from, uh, for every young player that likes volleyball, I think, is the dream. Here in England, the guys, they practice in one, two times a week maximum, and I think more social. Here, the guys come in one environment that they practice in at least 15 hours a week, including SNC and video analysis, theory, and all that, you know, they need to know about volleyball. Um, I started two years ago for the local club in High Wycombe at a very low level. But since I've come here, it dramatically increased my ability to play. I went from low level in a local club to playing for the National England squad in a few months. So, it's great. Uh, my normal day starts as an early morning, get up early, get ready, and I'll come here first thing training, about seven o'clock, and then we'll go training to gym, doing strength and conditioning, and then a lesson and go home. Yeah, being as a head coach of the same program a few years ago in Bournemouth and see the results, I will, let's say, invite or I will advise all, this, all the kids that they play volleyball to join this program because uh, what I saw in, in, uh, at the previous program, it was uh, most of the players that have scholarships and many of them now they're part of uh, of national team or they play pro. You know, so I think it's, it's the best option that they have if they love volleyball. The biggest benefit that Pro Volley gives me is uh, believing in myself because if it wasn't for me coming here, I wouldn't have believed that I could achieve what I've achieved so far, especially in such a short period of time. After each intense training, a detailed checkup of every player's body is necessary because keeping yourself in a good physical condition means not only exercising and eating right, but also getting massaged appropriately. Uh, the body is really fascinating. Like enigma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really is. Mm. And we need to solve this yeah. every performance. <laughs> the low back of volleyball players, all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, towards you. Okay, and now just what's pain, I think, and in this position here. Nothing. Okay, and lower here. Nothing. Yeah, always. And okay. Let's just hope that it. Stays in good shape for both games. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if, if Otherwise, I, I will call you on Wednesday. You have to fly <laughs> directly to Montpellier. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Save I, me. I, 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 I will tell. I will tell. Uh, 
So what age you started to play? Um, I think I was around 11 years old when I started. Yeah, so you, he was good? He, he no. was good at volleyball at first? No, I was terrible. <laughs> I was just... I was tall. I had long legs. Okay. So <laughs> I think that's the only reason why they uh, accepted me into the volleyball high school. They were like, hmm, that guy has long legs. His upper body must start to grow soon. So. <laughs> and so. then the second year in the in the, the high school, I grew 10 centimeters in one year. Oh my god! Only upper body. <laughs> With some pain in knees or no, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then I started to get some some body control, some coordination. So not the, not the talent, the... not not talent was was the main reason. No. <laughs> okay. okay, so we can stand up. Very nice. Yeah. Check. Okay, guys, a lot of game. Soon, IBB Polonia will face the biggest challenge in the club's history. The match for the round of 16 in the CEB European Volleyball Cup. Will the team be ready for the big game in France? How will they cope with the pressure? And above all, will they make it to the quarterfinals? All of these questions will be answered on our next episode. IBB Builders Merchants proudly supports volleyball.